What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Crit You Experience. My name is Brendan Myers and today we are joined by my friend named Carly. She's absolutely incredible, she's very powerful, she's in the holistic and wellness space but also, uh, well you're going to learn a little bit more about her in a few. Now with this experience, remember we're not only here on YouTube but we're on all audio platforms. And what we do is before we jump into the actual podcast, we create an experience for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Whole Foods, that's where I am right now. We're going to grab some goodies, some ingredients, we're going to cook something up super fresh and also we're going to make an incredible drink you can be drinking every single day and we're going to jump right into the podcast. So without further ado, let's get to it. Carly, what's up? Okay, so we're in Whole Foods. What are we making today? We are going to make an adaptogen tonic, which is a stress reliever and hormonal balance okay. drink. And it's a nice bowl of cacao, which is like a chocolate type of base. And then with the snow mushrooms as well, too. So a lot of like stress reliever. And so we're going to get high today? No. Okay. non psychoactive <laughs> um, mushrooms. And then we'll be making little beauty balls as well, too. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's jump right in. So we are going to start with a adaptogen tonic, and this is actually a product that I personally made with Cured Nutrition. Um, it is actually not available currently, but stay tuned around Christmas time. But for you guys that want to still make this at home, you can make it with cacao powder, ashwagandha root, which is amazing for home hormonal health, especially us women who are transitioning out of a dieting phase. Um, adding ashwagandha is extremely important to regulate your cycle. And then CBD, which if you guys are new to CBD, it is the non-psychoactive component of the hemp plant. So you get all of the benefits, so stress, anxiety, insomnia, like a list long of benefits just without the psychoactive component. And then you have reishi extract, which is a medicinal mushroom um, that helps with stress and regulating your hormones, but it is huge with stress and one of my favorite mushrooms. So we'll be mixing this with organic almond milk, which this is my favorite because the only ingredients is filtered water and almonds. And it's super important to look at your labels when you are shopping because even with healthy products, junk can still be added in. So check your labels. So we'll be doing about a cup per serving, but since two of us will be drinking this, we'll be doing two cups. that in there and then you want to heat this up on medium on your stove top again I'm really big with reducing my microwave use um, and just utilizing my stove top so we'll be doing this on the stove top for about 10 minutes or until it starts to bubble so what we're starting with is a adaptogen tonic. So this is one of my favorite nighttime drinks. Um, it's super sweet and very filling and it has a lot of benefits. A lot of benefits that help you sleep as well as stress um, and just like regulate your hormones. So what we have on the stove top right now is orga organic almond milk. And then something that's really, really important about shopping is looking at your nutrition labels. So in this milk, it is only filtered water and sprouted almonds. So it doesn't have any of the extra additives that normal almond milk has. Um, so that's what's cooking on the stove top right now, just at a medium heat. And then we will be adding the cured peppermint cacao um, hot chocolate mix, which this is a product that I formulated with Cured Nutrition. But if you do not have um, cured and especially this one because it is a limited edition product you can go ahead and just mix up peppermint cacao which is a powder form of um, chocolate 
And then ashwagandha, which is amazing for hormonal health and especially women who are coming off of a dieting phase or who are in a dieting phase, adding ashwagandha, which is a root, an adaptogenic root um, to regulate your hormones and just get your cycle like back on track is really important. Also has CBD, which is the non-psychoactive component of the hemp plant. So you won't get high, but you get all of the benefits. So um, helping with sleep, anxiety. Um, this is just one of my favorite additives for supplements to add into my supplement regimen and then reishi, reishi extract which is a medicinal mushroom again it is non-psychoactive but it has a long list of healing benefits one of them is stress so we will be adding this into the um, milk and then while that cooks we will go ahead and make one of my favorite snacks um, breakfasts or even just post workouts which is the beauty balls so what is in the beauty balls is um, gluten-free oats which it's super important to get gluten-free just to help out with your digestion and just limit bloating and then we have some chia seeds which are amazing source of fiber so just keeping you regulated and then also a lot of skin benefits as well too they have a bunch of healthy fats and then hemp hearts as well so all of my vegetarian or just plant-based friends adding in hemp hearts to your diet is a really great source of plant-based protein along with really healthy fats and then we'll actually be adding in collagen so this recipe is not vegan but I love collagen because it helps with skin um, again that's why it's called beauty balls it's because it has collagen and then bananas for a little natural sweetener so no added sugars, but just natural sugars. So we'll add this all into the bowl. for about 30 minutes to an hour. You can put them into the fridge too overnight, um, but just to harden. stovetop for about 10 minutes. Um, we mixed all of the ingredients in. Now we can just pour it into cups or mugs if you want mugs. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Cheers to the first attempt of a drink that I have no clue what's in <laughs> what it's gonna taste like. Here we go. That's pretty good. It smells like hot chocolate or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what actually I like about it most? Is that it's not too sweet. Yeah. But it's good. like, you know it's not, there's not shit in there. Yeah, that's cacao. Mm. It's chocolate like, and it's really like, fun. And how often do you drink this? Um, sometimes, like nightly, I just need like an extra stress relief. So it really does help with the stress. Yeah, the ashwagandha. Mm. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a gallon of this a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to try out these good old cookies. Let's go. Another cheers. Cheers. Yeah. They're a little. They're they're not as hard because we didn't keep them in that long. But let's cheers it up. Here you go. That was on point. Yeah. Okay. That was on point. You took a little bite, I took the whole thing. Got it. <laughs> wow. Good time. That was amazing. So, guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, whoever you are, even if you're at work right now and you're watching this, you should be at work watching this because that's, you know, what we do is we don't work, we just watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm kidding, but we're gonna jump into the podcast now. Thanks for tuning in for this experience. So let's jump in. Hey, 
my name is Brennan Myers, and welcome to the Create You Experience, where we ignite your breakthrough, create your experience, and bring your vision to life. Uh, I can't sit around and wait till it goes right Cause I've been hopping over obstacles my whole life I got a vision and I know it's about to take flight I'm dedicated to growth, I keep my mind right I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable Anything in my way, I'ma break through Lights, camera, action, take two Can't worry about what they do, you gotta create you Welcome back to yet another episode of the Create You Experience as you heard it in the intro, my name is Brendan Myers. Did you like how I said that, Carly? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Today we are welcomed by a friend, someone actually I just met. Her name is Carly, and she's an incredible person. We're going to jump into her intro a little bit in, in just a second. But first, if you are on YouTube or all audio platforms, remember we are on both. So if you're on YouTube, we're on audio. And if you're on all audio platforms, we're on YouTube as well. And what we do here is we create an experience before the actual podcast begins. And today, Carly and I were able to create some delicious food and also a drink that I highly, highly suggest if you're stressed and you are just freaking out like me at all <laughs> moments of the day. She's laughing because yeah. I'm, I'm kind of funny. <laughs> um, beautiful smile, by the way. Thank you. Then definitely try that out and, and check out YouTube. Now, before we get started, remember when you review the podcast on iTunes, it's a simple review. You click the link that's in the show notes or the description. You get seven incredible free gifts. You get ab up. You get a couple products. Um, definitely check that out if you want to build your business or you want some workouts, meal plans. We even give meal plans. So uh, yeah, all you have to do is give a review. Have you reviewed my podcast yet, Carly? I will after this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. That's <laughs> beautiful right there. So anyways, welcome to the Create You Experience where we really dig deep and we uncover more than you could ever imagine and we get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. <laughs> so say what's up, Carly. Introduce yourself. Who are you? What you're doing with that beautiful moon necklace that you have on there? You didn't even notice that I noticed that you I have didn't, that. I didn't, no. Well, today's a full moon, so. Is it really? It is, yeah. The moon is in Libra, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, who are you? What, what do you stand for? I know you used to compete and you're yeah. really big into holistic well, wellness and, and health and mm -hmm. everything, but like, who are you? Give us, an, give us a little intro. Okay, well, I am Carly Garland. My Instagram name is Carly with three E's at the end with J. Yeah, very important. It is, yeah, with a K too, not a C. Yeah, very don't important. fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I am a holistic online health and wellness coach, and then I also freelance write and content create for some wellness brands that are in the like wellness community online. Um, so specifically right now, I work with a CBD company who is based out of Boulder, um, so I do that, but strictly I am a holistic health and wellness coach. Awesome, so mm -hmm. you transform people's lives. Can you help Correct. me? Because I need a lot of help. I can help Thank you, you so much, yeah. Carly, I really appreciate that. <laughs> so, you know, we, we, we touched on a couple things about your past and, and how you've yeah. gotten to where you are today. Here, here's the main thing, is that if you're listening or watching, the, the main reason why I wanted to bring you on was because you have a different approach and energy to life. So you're not just like, oh, 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 like Brendan, like Brendan Santa Claus over here, like, oh, 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 what is going on? What are you doing? Like freaking out all the time. You're more like mellow. You know, it's kind of hard to hear you on the mic a little bit, speaking to the mic. Yeah. A bit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, and it's because you, you have a different perspective, I'm guessing, on life yeah. and what it means. So before we jump into anything, tell me about that. What is your perspective on life? Mm, good question. Okay. Um, I think life is truly just what you make of it right. and then how you ex choose to experience it as well too because we can have a mindset of life is happening to me or life is happening for me right so that's my really big like life perspective oh wow so so i feel like life is always in my favor right mm -hmm. is that something that you you a mentor that you live by i think life unfolds with lessons constantly for us to learn and to progress yes great Mm -hmm. So there's a debate in there. It's like a passive debate. It's like, yeah, no, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> no, I, I love it. So, so you actually just went through a surgery, right? I did. Yeah. So um, Oops, she got louder. That means she's, she's excited <laughs> about this. Let's am, dig yeah. Deep. <laughs> this is something I have actually been, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been struggling with my health for quite some time. So out of transitioning out of competing, which I competed for I believe two years. Um, I got into the industry at a pretty young age and achieved my ultimate goal with that at a pretty young age. Yeah. Um, yeah, your pro card. 
Yeah, so I got my pro card, um, and the ultimate goal was to get my pro card before I turned 20. So I got my pro card when I was 19. I started competing when I was 17. And then oh, I wow. just, yeah, I had a lot of health issues and just my whole entire perspective of fitness and um, just doing it not for the right reasons. Because I think we can compete for a weight loss goal or just to like see what we can really achieve or we can do it to impress others. And I started to really lean more into like the egotistical mindset after I started to achieve a lot with competing. Um, so, so why? I, but But why? Where does that come from? I think it was just being young and naive and getting a lot of success very fast and getting a lot of male attraction and um, seeing my body change over time and being a young female where I was supposed to be coming into my body and into my, I guess, like, quote unquote, womanhood. But I was manipulating that through food, exercise, right. supplementations, um, and I just controlled it at a much more intense level and it just became unhealthy you sound like me with world of warcraft yeah that's pretty much what it was <laughs> like i would literally sit there and i'd have my popcorn i'd just be like oh. that's how i was raiding like going into <laughs> caves and stuff like fighting yeah. bad guys like the like the gnomes and stuff mm -hmm. um by the way there was never gnomes there was there was like <laughs> druids and i'm not gonna i've never that. played so yeah. i don't know you should play sometime you want to play world of warcraft one day sure that'd be so awesome <laughs> so you know you went through that and you went through that yeah. spell but like the, what, the surgery and everything. You yeah, so my health and everything like that. And then it was just an ongoing, I believe, a year where my health was just unraveling right in front of my eyes. I didn't know what was happening. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease, um, multiple co-infections of Lyme. It just didn't make sense for how healthy I was living. And previous to that, right after I transitioned out of competing, I got my holistic health certification. So I was very into holistic well-being so I was taking care of myself as a whole well-being so, so it didn't make sense no so it just didn't make sense yeah um but long story short I was diagnosed with breast implant illness so um I decided to get my breast implants removed and most I would probably say like half of my symptoms within the last two weeks since it's only been two weeks since I had my surgery have disappeared Okay, yeah. well, I'm not going to get breast implants. Yeah. That's that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of ladies that are probably going to listen or watch this that yeah. are might be in the same boat. Yeah. What would you, what's your recommendation to anybody getting breast And men, if you want breast implants, yeah, go ahead. Go big, baby. Yeah. Go big. <laughs> what would you say? Trust your body and your intuition because you know your body the best. Um, I went through multiple different doctors, surgeons that told me that I was crazy. Um, there's no way because FDA approved them. But you know your body the best and... Yeah, I just mm. trust it. That goes into a lot of different things, yeah. though. It's not yeah. a, just about breast implants. Yeah, it's it's everything. Like mm -hmm. trust your body. Mm -hmm. If you know you shouldn't be working out that day, don't work out. Totally. If you yeah. know you shouldn't go on that date because you're maybe not into it, you shouldn't go on that date. Yeah. yeah. But there's also that that wiggle room of like, if it's not going to harm you, mm -hmm. then definitely go out and do that, right? Wouldn't yeah. you say that? Like transitioning from, hey, you had this surgery, everything like that. Like, yeah. would you do it over again? I wouldn't know. I believe that everything unfolds. And that's something too that I really stress is not everybody who has breast implants gets breast implant illness. Like it's possible that you might have it just because of the load of toxins it causes on your body. But everybody experiences everything for a purpose. And I truly think that was part of my life journey to experience that. So let me ask you an uncomfortable question. Okay. Why did you get breast implants? Um, so I got them for competing to be since I was such a so I turned 20 when I did my first pro show and you could tell because I was competing next to like 30 35 year old women and you could tell my age yeah so I thought like having more curves would really help my look to be more mature and kind of proportion out my whole entire physique um and then of course like being 20 who doesn't want boobs mm, interesting yeah. I wanted boobs when I was like 12 yeah, I but mean. man boobs, man boobs. <laughs> Actually, yeah. eh, not really man boobs, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like nice big old pecs. pecs yeah. yeah. Except my nipple size is a little big, but that's that's cool. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we won't talk about that. You want to talk about that? My nipple size? Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty juicy. <laughs> no, no, but but you know, let, you took a stand for for what you trusted. You trusted your gut, yeah. your intuition. You went all in. You said, hey, look, I'm going to get this surgery. I'm going to be completed with this. Yeah. So like, for you to even trust yourself mm -hmm. and for you to even get into wellness, like where does all of this come from? Like where does it stem from as a child? Like 
where do you come from? Who's your mom and dad? Yeah, good question. So my mom and dad are amazing people. Um, they shaped me pretty much into who I am today. Um, a lot of my wellness came from my dad. So I remember being really young and my dad would have like this whole entire setup in our basement of like Bowflex machines. Yeah. <laughs> Bowflex? Yeah, do you remember those? Oh my gosh. Do you remember them? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> right? Are you kidding me? I used to look at Bowflex and I was like, yo, who is that guy on the Bowflex? Because I want him to train me. <laughs> That's what I would always see. I was like, yo, this is yeah. amazing. But keep going. Yeah, so I would just <laughs> remember my dad was like downstairs and I would always be super curious and I would like mess around on the machines and everything. And I think I was like 10, like eight or 10 and was just always just like really fascinated at the With fact. With the Bowflex? Yeah, and just the fact that you can... You are the person who can create your body and like transform your body just by putting in effort towards yourself. Yeah. Um, so I've always been an athlete growing up as well too. So I did like um, competition for club volleyball. So I like traveled around for oh, volleyball. So you were a wide receiver for in college. Okay, football. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's very inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. So I was like just raised as an athlete. And then my junior year of high school is when I transitioned out of volleyball and into competing. Mm. Um, I worked in a gym for childcare and then it kind of just unraveled from there. And I was really good at competing. And yeah. Cool. So you talked about your dad a lot. Why didn't mm -hmm. you talk a lot about your mom? Um, Good question. Um, I guess for like the wellness space, that was mostly the relationship I had with my dad. Um, my mom wasn't super into like wellness. Um, she's very soft spoken and very much in her, I guess you could say like feminine energy. Um, and I just leaned really towards that like masculine energy. And that's what got me. But you do like have that. a lot of feminine energy. I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I've been really. I'm all feminine energy. I would disagree with that. Really? Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, when we have our World of Warcraft date, we'll, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it then. Okay, cool. But, but okay, so, so your mom, what does she do? Like, what is she a part so of? So my mom's actually retired, um, but she did, she worked in childcare for 24 years. Wow, so you love mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have an older sister. Mm. Mm -hmm. How old is she? She's 24. Hey, guys. Just want to let you know that age is irrelevant. Just wanted to throw that it out is. there. Like yeah, it's Brendan the most won't irrelevant. Reveal his age. Really? How do you know that? I asked you. Remember when we were cooking, and oh, you like it passes the in pass. one ear. And, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't tell anybody my age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do you, does that bother you? No. You're like, hey, what? Are, are you like interested in finding out my age though? No, I was just curious. What if I give you a puzzle and like, if you figure it out, <laughs> like my age is there? I mean, I bet I could guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But okay, so you have an older sister. What does she do? Um, she's a dental hygienist. Dental so, hygienist. Yes, yeah, so we're like on total opposite. Like we're completely different. Okay, so we're talking about all the good stuff that you have in your life. Everything's yeah. incredible. Tell me about the bad stuff, the things that have happened to you outside of like the, the obviously the, the breast issue and mm -hmm. everything that happened there with your body. I'm guessing that's a huge pivotal point in your life, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. Is there any other times in your life where you have felt bullied or you felt like, like you weren't worth a lot or you were depressed or you went through this or that outside of this time period recently? Um, off the top of my head, really, the most recent, which is the like breast implant illness, is kind of what like comes up the most just because it's such a, I guess, like a fresh wound. But I'm really big on not attaching yourself to what happened to you and just continuing to recognize that and like, take that lesson but not have that as like a part of you because we're constantly like waking up each day as a new person like your past doesn't define you so it really shouldn't like come with you you right. should just bring those lessons right that makes sense so yeah so like i so what you're saying is that the that what just happened recently really hit you hard it and did, this is yeah. a pivotal this is a pivotal point and yeah. not really in the past but okay let, let me ask you this because there's a lot of people that are younger that are watching mm -hmm. this and they might be going through a hard time outside of that illness, yeah, right? And it might be something totally. else, like they're getting bullied, they're getting this or that. Like, how did you, how did you stay so controlled throughout your childhood and through your teenage years mm -hmm. of like just living a, a fulfilled life? Because yeah, your circumstances might have been better than than most or whatever. It doesn't matter, but they might have not been. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But how did you stay controlled until obviously all this stuff happened? You had to deal with it. Like, what what was your mindset growing up? I've always just really been big on owning my truth. Um, so I didn't really grow up with a ton of friends. I transferred 
from a pretty small school. So I grew up in like my first hometown was a one stop light town. So I'm from a really, really small. Was hometown. it a was it a, a nice pretty light like red, yellow, green or they did not yeah. even have the yellow? Well, no. actually, it didn't have a stoplight when I was living there. So it was like no stop. Oh, my God. Yeah, this so is like, horrible. The government. <laughs> See, this is why I don't fuck with the government. This is it. Because <laughs> yeah. where you're from, they did not even have a stop. Oh, oh. I know. Oh. Very small Disgusting. town. <laughs> Disgusting. But anyways, go ahead. Anyways, yeah. So I transferred um, from there to a different school, which they were actually like really big rivals with sportings. Because of course, like being from a small town, sports is just like Do they have everything. cricket there? Do they have cr- No, just football, volleyball. Oh I mean. my gosh. The government. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the fucking... No, I'm kidding. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so just transferring from that school and everything, I didn't really have a bunch of friends outside of volleyball. And that was just me owning my truth and like really staying committed to my hobbies, my passions, and not transforming or um, shape shifting into what I thought others wanted. So just to have friends, I think a lot of people start to um, blend into their surroundings Mm. just so people will like them and so they can. um, I actually just did an Instagram post about this about like labels. So you can like fit with labels. So say like you're vegan and you want to like fit within the vegan community. So you really attach yourself to that vegan label. So you feel at home within that community because we all really do strive for a tribe or a community base of people who are all like us rather than all of us that are like unique individuals Mm. bringing our different aspects together. Wow. Yo, Mike, what's the time on that, on that, on that camera right there? What's the time? What, What does it say on there? Cause this is like some real shit that I want to like make sure that I edit and like put out there. So whatever that time is, I don't know what it is, but lock that down because that's so true. Like, but, and, and here's the thing that's what like creating you is all about, Yeah. you know, and it's so interesting. Oh my gosh, this is another marketing. Oh, this is great. Advertisement. Let's go Market roll up. it, roll it. Facebook. Let's go. But basically like what you just said about labels, yeah. we, we, we label everything around us mm-hmm. that fits into whatever we're, we're going through. Right. And like, let's say we're, we're football players. We hang out with football players Mm -hmm. or if we are singers we like to hang out with people that are into music you know if we're vegan we generally hang out with more vegan people around us so what if we created ourselves in a different way Mm -hmm. by incorporating everyone around Mm -hmm. us and so uh that's such a i I fucking i love that so much i'm literally gonna like paste that whole quote it was probably like a a minute long but i'm gonna put the quote at the top of my top of my my roof of my my roof (laughs) My ceiling in my bedroom, I'm going to wake yeah, up and like read it, it every time because cool. it's so strong. So like, how, how do you get outside of that label? Like, what do you mm-hmm. do? What are some tactics or strategies that you can give people that, Hey, like get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Yeah. I think just putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. So for example, like you did, you just like got up and moved and just like put yourself in Denver and a whole entire new city. That's a really good example. Um, and then also just like show up and yeah, just like meet people and get other people's like perspective and their story too. Cause each of us have our, a unique story, but all of us are so like confided and just so like centered in our own story that we're not like looking up and like asking somebody like at the grocery store of like, how are you? Or like, do you do that often though? I try to. Yeah. And like make eye contact with people too, because most of us aren't here within like the present moment. Yeah. You're, you pierce my soul. Good. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> I was like pierced, pierced. hazel eyes. Yeah. I know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important. And I think really in like today's society, we're so caught up in like social media and like these like virtual realities that we're not really present within our current reality that's unfolding in front of us. Mm. Gosh, yo, this Carly, you got some gems. Carly with three (laughs) E's like definitely check her out on IG. Oh, (laughs) my God. Three E Carly. Like so you saw me outside right before we even started the experience. And I was like talking to some random guy. Like, oh yeah. And he was like, he just came up and actually I talked to a lot of people. If you notice, I like really like to talk to people. Mm-hmm. I think that's, that's so important. It's just like, if you're walking by someone, it doesn't matter who they are. Like totally. it could be Indian, black, white, wh- whatever they are. I think when you're a lot, like you allow yourself to see a human rather than have to identify them by their skin. color. Oh my gosh. Space. We're going to shift this conversation right now from like, with yeah. that, okay. with that. And we're going to upgrade it. Okay. So I, I've been having this thing where I talk to people about, um, relationships right Mm -hmm. about like if you're into a male or if you're into a female yeah what you just said a lot of people don't understand it on my wavelength with like the way i understand it or maybe Mm -hmm. aren't as open to it but like i feel like and i'm actually going to do a full podcast on this but i feel like what 
like how can we shut ourselves off to either same sex relationships or or like changing sexes or whatever it is like how can we even shut ourselves off to that if what you're saying is seeing someone on a deeper level than just what's going on on the outside so like what what is your take on that yeah i, I would really love to hear this um if I understand your question correctly, I think when we're able to see, like I said, somebody as like a human being, or if you're able to see them as a like another soul and just cohabitat with another soul rather than a female, male, um, black, white, whatever, and just like as a human and just like allow, especially in like today's society too, like seeing um, a same sex marriage, like it's not as like big of a deal as it was like 50 years ago. Like, it's just becoming more of a norm. It's going to be even more of a norm. Totally. And, like, 100%. just, like, nowadays, too, with, like, same-sex um, or gender-neutral bathrooms. Like, it's just, we're just human. Like, and if people can just understand that. I so what are your thoughts on the on relationships? Like, like Being, like, same-sex? Yeah. I think love is love, and being able to express that love to whoever you love is important. <laughs> Give this woman a reward. Uh, why do I always say reward? <laughs> I always say that give her a reward. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's like I'm, I'm just give. I want to give you an award Thank you. because that's that's be- that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's how how I know how you're so in touch with yourself. Okay. You know, you're so in touch with your surroundings. Thank now, you. from there, and I'm not going to jump too much into this because people are going to get really excited about like what I talk about, and I'm not going to disclose anything. But there's a lot, a lot of stuff that I can say, Mike. You know, you've you've heard me talk about it. Like I, I've talked about, a, mm, there's a lot of stuff that people don't know about me. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. And see, your mind's racing. And like, oh, what, what's he talking about? <laughs> but it's not what you think. It's not what you think. Um, but l- let's shift a little bit. Okay. So you are a little bit more to yourself, right? You're a little bit okay. more quiet, right? Mm-hmm. You you uh, you know how to live alone. You know you know how to be alone. Yeah. Right. How the fuck do you be alone? Can you please tell me this? <laughs> Like, what, what is this yeah. alone shit? Like, what, what is this? Yeah, so I would say <laughs> I'm, like, a very um, introverted person. And I'm very, uh, what's the word? Like, I'm an empath. So I pick up on a lot of, like, energy. So when I'm around, like, a group of people, I get really drained if I'm not cautious of, like, protecting my own energy. Are so, you drained from me? No, mm. not at all. Yeah. Like I said, like, you were not extremely, like, as intense as I thought. You were going to be. I know, because I'm an empath. Totally. Mm. You might be. Not, You're I'm, very aware of other people's energies and like awareness. Like you have a very wide spectrum of um, just like being very in tuned. Yeah, I never want people to be uncomfortable. I'm totally. like, like, if you want me to talk like this, we can t- we can really talk. It's okay. Uh, you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> so to go back to your question about being alone, I think it's important to be able to be alone so you have to be able to be comfortable within yourself and by yourself before you can step into a relationship with somebody else as well too. So like to go back to the relationships, um, I think it's just really important to spend time alone to get to know yourself because we really don't know ourselves. because as we're growing up through society, we're really programmed by society beliefs, whether that's from our parents, the school, just people around us are like just blasting beliefs and it's like um, magazines TV shows, YouTube channels as well, too. We're picking up all of these. Not my YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Very diverse. Um, we're just picking up a lot of these, like, different personalities and, like, characters or I guess you can call them archetypes as well, too. So, like, a superhero um, being, like, a... You, no, am I a superhero? <laughs> she pointed at me. Am no. I a superhero? You think I'm a superhero? I mean, you could be. Wow. Well, it could be, like, an archetype you know that you're... You're beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so, it's, like, these archetypes that we grow up around and we attach certain characteristics that we like about them and we attach that to our personality. Mm. So, when you actually step away from that archetype and whether that's like in solitude. Um, so I'm really big with like hiking in nature because it's just alone. nature. You can go alone or go with somebody that just like has a chill vibe and is like not. Oh my gosh. Do you want to go on a hike? Sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm t- I, I make more friends than I actually do like discuss things on these podcasts. Yeah. I'm like, hey, do you want to do this? You I, do this is like my like a hangout ca- calendar. Yeah, I like, like it. This is what the create you experience is. My hangout calendar. Like okay, it. keep going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like lost track. Uh, so it's just stripping down those archetypes and being alone and seeing what comes up so like i'm really big with meditation too so quieting your mind and tapping into your stillness um and that can even just be like in a workout and where you 
maybe you play music, whatever, and you just get into that flow state and allow whatever comes up and like your higher self or your true self or whatever to come out and be able to be um, confident within that. I feel like you can be alone. And meditation really comes in, in so many different wave wavelengths and, and forms, right? It's like you can you can meditate with music, you meditate with like so many different like even foods, right? You like mm. eh, it gets to it like if you're meditating yeah. for the wrong reasons, like with that food and stuff. But like what I'm getting at is when you're able to still your mind or calm your mind totally. during chaos. Like if you're if you're in the gym and you're listening to screaming music, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And and yeah. and you're able to even meditate during that. Totally. That's like that's power. Yeah, and I think a lot of times too in today's society we're just like constantly bombarded by all of these distractions. Right. So we like don't allow ourselves just to like be. It's like we pick up our phone and look at social media or we like look at a text or we just like constantly fill the moment with something rather than just like sitting with ourselves. So how do you, I, I, I honestly, I, I don't get it. Like mm -hmm. to be fully, like, I'm, I'm pretty good at being alone. I like traveling alone. I yeah. went to Sydney, Australia alone. I like going, to, I, I love traveling alone and stuff, but I guess, you know, when, when everything's still and, and like, I don't have a lot to do yeah. and I'm just. Those are like the juicy moments though. Cause those thoughts that you typically, <laughs> juicy. <laughs> Use the word juicy. juicy. Yeah. juicy. <laughs> That's like the moments that thoughts come up that you don't allow yourself to sit with. So like your limiting beliefs about yourself or um, just really the thoughts that we just uncomfortable thoughts that we don't sit with ever that we always like fill the moment with distractions. Those so what can I up. do when I'm a, should I just schedule my, and anyone listening, like you yeah. can do this as well or, or watching because remember we're on YouTube. Yeah. Duh. Um, so what, what would we, would, what would you recommend to me? I'm so high energy. Mm hmm I literally can go, go, go. Even when I'm tired, I can go a mile a minute yeah. and I can handle things. I'm mm -hmm. a hard work. I'm, I'm like, I'm like giving myself acknowledgement as I'm doing <laughs> yeah. it. So like, what would you say to me mm -hmm. about taking a step back and being alone? Like, should I take totally. a day off and just go on my own path and like not drive a car and do anything that yeah. really, like, what would you say? Um, the like simplest thing that you can do is just like wake up in the moment, mo morning, don't grab your phone. Because it's like when you grab your phone, you're constantly oh, in reaction mode. And then you're in reaction mode throughout the whole entire day. Because yeah. by doing that also, you're allowing your phone to control you rather, rather than you controlling your phone. Um, so I'm yeah. like really big with like shutting off all of my app notifications. Because if I want to use the app, I'll go into the app. I don't have the notifications up because then the app is using me. If that makes sense. Yeah, no. And, and actually, I shut, I shut off my emails. Yeah. You want to know how many emails I had? Probably a lot. Yeah, three hundred and thirteen thousand. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of people. It's a lot of companies. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that's a so lot of. Don't people. email him. Don't email <laughs> yeah. me, please, uh, Brennan. At, no, yeah. and and I actually I had a life coach, uh, mm. a very good friend of mine. Her name is Megan. Not, uh, not now, but she was my my life coach, and she looked at my notifications and she saw my text messages. I had two hundred and eighty text messages, mm. and then I she looked at my mail. She's like, Brennan, you have three hundred and like thirteen thousand emails. What are you mm. doing? And then I had like my Facebook notifications on. It was like 6,342. And she was like, she's the first time she ever seen my phone. And she's like, Brendan, what the fuck is going on here? Like, yeah. I never even realized that that type of commotion mm -hmm. on my phone creates commotion in my mind. Totally. Until I actually took it away. Mm -hmm. And the same thing goes with your bed. Yeah. It goes with your room. Yeah. It goes your with space, your kitchen. Your environment reflects the inside of your mind. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. crazy. So like with our relationships and the people around us, if we are, if we have trouble being alone, mm -hmm. how does that all relate and tie in with each other? Like, you know, should we have like, should we set things up? Like, should we structure our days in a certain way yeah. or like, what would you say? Yeah. So something I'm really big with my coaching and like mentorship program is integrating self-care time. And like that can mean whatever to you. I personally love doing like bubble baths or like meditation or like nature walks um, and just a time that you set aside each day, however long, like if you have five minutes, 10 minutes, a full hour, awesome. But setting out so or setting time aside for yourself to show up for yourself, because if you can't show up for yourself, you're not going to be able to show up for anybody. You're not going to be able to achieve any of these goals because you have to show up for those goals. Right. But the first step is showing up for yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's some juicy create you shit right there. That's promotion, more promotion. I love promotion. this. So much marketing. <laughs> so let me ask you, 
um, when you take bubble baths, yeah. do you put a do you put a uh, rubber ducky in the I bubble don't. bath? No, you don't. I'm all about crystals and like setting up crystals and okay. candles and all that. So jazz. no, no rubber duckies. So no rubble. No, no. Is it because of the rubber? Because it's not like, holistic. <laughs> it's plastic. No. Yeah. no, I just choose not to. Okay, mm -hmm. that's totally cool. I you you know, like, for me, I'm really big on. Uh, not bubble baths. I don't. I for some reason I'm not the best with the bubbles. Like I usually pour too much in, and soon enough I'm like it's drowning hard, in like, bubbles. Ratio. Or like totally. yeah, it's totally hard. It's like yeah, it's like cereal. It's like how much freaking milk almond milk do you put cereal. in there? <laughs> yeah. Like the it's ratio. Just tough. Yeah. So, what other remedies or things that would you say would help someone to calm the mind? Yeah. Um. So I'm really big, obviously, with meditation, and that can look different for anybody. So you can do guided meditations, which is something I would suggest doing to start out with. So just like looking up on YouTube guided meditations um, for women, I would highly suggest looking up meta meditations or loving kindness meditations. Okay. Um, so you can do that. There's multiple different meditations apps, apps out there as well too. You can do that. And then simple that everybody has that you don't even have to do or like get a app is just connecting to your breath. Because your breath is so powerful. So breath work. So like, what is it, what do you mean by breath work? So you can do any sort of breath work. You can do like the Wim Hof of like, um, what is it called? So like fire breathing. Uh -huh. um, so you could do that or you could just simply just connect to your breath. Okay. So just like placing your hand on your stomach, taking a really big breath in, filling up your chest, holding it at the top and then releasing. And being able to connect to your breath, you're ultimately connecting to like the life force around you and just becoming centered within yourself. Because when we're stressed, we forget to breathe. Like, that's why we have panic attacks. Is like, if anybody has a panic attack, you know the stress or like that. Yeah, like, Maybe. it just like forms in your chest and then you're just like so anxious. And like, if you just, you forget to take the inhale because you're on the exhale, but you just forget to inhale. Uh, I'm having anxiety right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting anxiety, yeah. but it feels good at the same time. Okay, so, so breath work, also meditation. What else? Mm -hmm. What other remedies? Nature. Nature is so healing. We live in a society like you're in the middle of chaos. Yeah. No offense. I love your house. It's pretty. <laughs> you think you think I'm in the middle of chaos? Yeah. You. I mean. Is that an attack? Is that no, not should... at all. Oh, my but... gosh. Barrier. Oh, my gosh. Defense mode. What, <laughs> defense what's going on? <laughs> no, but just getting out in nature, um, surrounding yourself with trees and just like the sun and everything like that. It's extremely healing to the human body. But I have fake plants right here. Are these not good enough? <laughs> no, you should definitely have something I'm real. just kidding. Uh, if you're watching right now, they're actually real. Just kidding. They're actually fake. I'm trying to... <laughs> you, can you tell that they're fake immediately? No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Marketing, baby. Create no. you. Join now. Subscribe. <laughs> no. But okay, so so that's another remedy. What else, like what type of products could I be consuming to yes. ease my mind a little bit? Totally. So I'm really big with CBD. Um, I work with a CBD company, Cured Nutrition little plug right there yeah they are yeah let's beep that out yeah. <laughs> no, okay. yeah. <laughs> no i love cure nutrition um so they're the first cbd company that i've actually used um so for those that are unfamiliar with cbd it is the non-psychoactive active component of the hemp plant so you get a wide variety of benefits but just without the like head high so typically right. like when you smoke marijuana or like thc is a compound with like that actually gets you high um cbd does not do that However, if you are utilizing, because there's multiple different CBD products out on the market nowadays. A lot of shit out there, too. A lot of shit. So make sure that you are looking into what you are buying. So there is CBD isolate, which is just the CBD compound alone, which has amazing benefits. So it helps with sleep, anxiety, um, hormonal regulation, as well as like gut health, too. Or you can do full spectrum CBD, which uses the full plant. Um, so it has all of the cannabinoids in it. So you have CBDG, CBDN, CBD, sorry, I said G too, um, THC, and then like a couple more. There's like over a hundred cannabinoids. Which one would you say is better? Ooh. Um, so right now I'm actually looking into CBDN and CBDG. So CBDG is amazing for sleep alone. So it has like I think a couple different research articles that I've been looking into um, that is like equivalent to a lot of like sedative medical. Um, no shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's amazing. So I could literally take and just be like. Totally. <sighs> immediately. Mm -hmm. Just like while we're on the podcast. <sighs> totally. Yeah, just like pass out. <laughs> like yeah. 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 So the hemp plant alone is such a powerful plant that has okay. a lot of healing modalities. I, I actually hope that they 
they like make marijuana legal everywhere because totally well i mean cbd's colorado it is yeah so. it's just juicy. but a lot of people just don't like the psychoactive but you get the cbd from however it. what huh what <laughs> what Clearly, what? clearly not educated what? in this, guys. No, so uh, don't take actually, my. Actually, CBD yeah. helps. I gotta go. Yeah, this is shitty. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna freaking close down the party experience after that. Done. <laughs> no, CBD actually, um, like if you get anxious when you smoke, um, so I don't know if you like whatever, but if you smoke marijuana and you typically get anxious, which a lot of people do, and that's why they like have the stigma around marijuana and hemp. Um, if you take CBD, that can counteract it. Yeah, but yeah, but this is what I was saying. You can't, can't you? I guess I just don't know. CBD can't you take CBD from weed though like from, from yeah. marijuana that's what I meant so yeah what a lot of people don't get so there is the cannabis plant so there's a marijuana plant and the hemp plant but they're both cannabis right um so you can take CBD from the hemp plant but the THC content will still be a bit higher but you can take it from the hemp plant and the hemp plant is legal I believe like in all 50 states oh so there don't is THC in the we in the marijuana you can't pull the CBD just from the marijuana you can so that's when I said the CBD isolate so you if you want a CBD or a THC free product look for a product that is just um CBD isolate so cure nutrition has a oh. I think it's like a mint classic is there a THC pro product? gotcha yeah Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So that's another remedy. What are some other remedies? Uh, yeah. Give us so, some like foods that we can consume. Yeah. Lots of food. Uh, turmeric is really good too, which helps inflammation. And a lot of times when our body has a lot of inflammation, it can cause an anxiety. So eliminating gluten, dairy, um, peanuts as well too, are all of like the most interesting. common. It's very interesting mm -hmm. because this morning you handed me something with peanuts. Well, not everybody has a peanut allergy. Mm. So it just matters. Like I was having a seizure, by the way, guys. No, he was. I was, yeah, yeah, I was. No, <laughs> I might be dramatic, but, but you know, definitely my, not. You took I was a on solid the ground bite and you're like, I was this literally, is so good. I was, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but I was rolling on the ground, tripping over my own throw up <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> in my mind. No, okay okay so, so, yeah so, so turmeric um chia seeds which is what the beauty balls that we made before this um that's really good and then also two medicinal mushrooms so we did a tonic that had reishi mushroom which is amazing for stress and mm. hormonal balance um so adding those powders like into a smoothie or a tonic is really good as well too cool so so my gosh i, I feel like there's so much shit out there mm -hmm. and you don't even know what the fuck to use like yeah. You have maca or maca, ma maca, whatever maca. you want to call it, maca. You have you have chia seeds, you have hemp hearts, you have this, you have that. It's like, what do you use now? Yeah. Like you walk down an aisle and it's like a million different products. Like Totally. Yeah, I think the first step is just being aware of what you're eating. So start reading your labels. And if you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your body. Like it's that simple. Me like med medicamelidocene, like that one? Yeah. Do you know what that one is? No. Ooh, so. are you not? A, I thought you were a wellness coach. I am. No, I just made that up. <laughs> I was I, like, I, I, <laughs> um, yeah, so just start reading your food labels and start just adding in um, foods slowly too. So all these superfood on the markets, like you don't have to have every single one of them into your diet. Just start adding in like ashwagandha is amazing for hormonal health and stress as well too. So just add one of those in like each month type of thing and like slowly start to transition your diet like that. Um, humans hate change so I always say like don't just cold turkey it and like quit everything replace things so if you eat like um, pizza every day the journal yeah that or mm, just like thick crust oh <laughs> my gosh and then you <laughs> have the cheese the double layered cheese and then now I'm thinking about a hamburger double oh yeah. my gosh and then you have the bread buttered oh my god and then the cheese it's cheddar oh. yeah <laughs> okay anyways back to what you were saying yeah like nowadays there's such <laughs> you're like all over the place but it's okay um, i do i do listen people when they're on here they what people are listening like you know how hectic our lives are totally. and how like irritating they are and like there's things that are going on all the time we have to choose 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 mm -hmm. i believe in creating a podcast that i like fucking just make people happy and yeah. excited and like they feel like there's something coming they're like they don't know what it is but yeah. then i start talking about pancakes all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. and then all of a sudden you know we're like, driving down happening? a mountain yeah. and stuff you know like it's important to keep I think it's important to have some fun while we're getting totally. serious, you know? Keep people on their toes. Yeah, so so keep on digging into what you were digging in. Yeah, so like I said, I think nowadays there's so many different alternatives to things. So like if you want chips, like there's healthy options for chips. And it's just the fact of like not cold turkeying it and just like eating plants 
It's just eating a better quality of food. But it's so interesting because, you know, we start, oh my gosh, the, the whole food industry is so fucked. It's, it is. It's so fucked. It's like once you introduce a beautiful bag of chips that is really going to help you and, mm-hmm. and it's really tasty, there's 15 others that, that launch right. and 10 of them are shit for you. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, they're a little bit cheaper and now they're all the same price. And then you're like, well, what the heck? Yeah. So, like, when, let's just say we're walking down the bag aisle. Mm-hmm. What do you, what do you strive for? Like, what do you look for in, like, chips if you're going to have them? Anything that does not contain corn because that's really hard on your digestive system. So, if you are healing your gut, I would just stay away from corn and then stay away from canola oil as well, too, because it's one of the inflammatory oils. So, just those two. Um, look at the ingredients if there is like I always shoot for like five to seven or probably like ten or less ingredients like okay. you're good to go so not 154 yeah. on the uh, oh my gosh I remember I, like I would I would be walking in the grocery store and I pick something up it's like it's like 68 ingredients I'm yeah like, you're like why I'm like wow okay it has cacao in it I'm gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's just, it's it's overwhelming totally so what would you say because you work with with cured right and that's a that's a different company um, than than most. I don't even know how to word this, but like, where does the integrity come like come from for for a company to really show up for its customers? Good question. And like, create something that is actually beneficial and not just for the money. Totally, yeah. So, Cured really prides ourselves with um, testing all of our products. So we lab test all of it, and we have all of that testing online as well too. So you can go online and look at each product and their test results. Um, and then asking the questions because you are the consumer. So knowing where you're putting your energy or your money into. Um, so ask questions to your um, companies as well too. Like if you're curious about a product, email the customer service. And if they're like sketchy or not really open about it, then you probably shouldn't put your money or your energy into yeah, that company. So, so let's be real. Yeah. Like b- people aren't going to do that, right? M- majority totally. of people won't, yeah. right? So like... One thing I say, and one thing that I've taken and incorporated into my life is, if I like a, a one company, right? Mm-hmm. If you do your research on a few different companies, they 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 actually offer a lot of different foods, right? Yeah. It might be more like cracker based or like bread based. Um, it might be more dairy based or yeah. w- whatever it is, or, or uh, meat based. Mm-hmm. Whichever company it is, do research on the company, yeah, and then find out like why it's like a, a good product mm-hmm. and start consuming it, but consume all the different variations. So like. Uh, simple mills you heard of simple mills right yeah like the crackers mm-hmm. they have like what like five to seven ingredients yeah. and they're actually pretty good for mm-hmm. you and even the cookies like i love the cookies and if i'm gonna have like a like a cheat or something i have those cookies because yeah. i know that it's not gonna have the extra shit and all of this and all of that it's gonna have some stuff but not mm-hmm. something that's gonna really harm me so would you would you say to do the same kind of like um yeah so something that you said i don't label any of my foods as like a cheat food either because food is just food mm. and I don't know that comes from healing a relationship with food as well too so a lot of females don't have the healthiest relationship with food um, so that helps to drop the it's cheap food versus like healthy food if you just look at food as food and that's, so, your hard. Body. Yeah, that's so hard to but do if that. you're always eating quality food as well too in a good amount then it's like you really but a lot of people don't have money there's not a lot of budgets to go around. I would disagree with that. Um, mm, I think we can all find I like alternatives this. I like this. to it. Um, it doesn't mean that you need to like show up at Whole Foods or Irwan's or whatever and like buy the most expensive thing. You can always look at ingredients. So how does that, how does that relate to the budget? So the budget. So you can get any quality source of food at like Walmart or King Supers or just you can. Okay. you can, yeah. It's not like just Whole Foods or any sort of like bougie grocery store. So do store. you think organic foods are good? Are, yeah. are, are good or do you think mm-hmm. like natural is fine or do you think that regular Yeah, so if you're looking for like um like fruits and vegetables, there are I believe like 12 of them that you should always buy organic, which is like celery, a lot of like root vegetables because you just want to avoid the pesticides that are sprayed into the field. That's your biggest concern right there is just like if you can switch to organic based products um, like veggies and fruits, then that's like your first step and then go from there. See, and even with this, I feel so I'm like, like no shit. Mm -hmm. I'm actually overwhelmed by it because Mm -hmm. 
then now people come out about like, oh, well, people aren't even as organic as they say they are. And then yeah. this and that. It's like. Yeah. And I think just like in today's society as well, too, like there's toxins in the air everywhere we go. So it's like we can only limit so much chemical base that we are consuming. You can only try your best. But if you can start just by the food that you put into your body, like you'll become healthier. Yeah. So don't be a jackass and don't like freaking put all this pizza dough and totally. DiGiorno and nice cheese yeah. and Oh, the double patty. I'm just kidding. I actually don't eat. You don't eat like that. I don't, no, I don't. <laughs> no. I don't eat uh, red like red meat, like okay. beef. I, I don't eat beef, ground mm-hmm. beef. I love cows. Mm-hmm. I love when they wag their tails and they're like all happy and shit. Like that's really cool. Yeah. I do eat bison though. Yeah. Do you eat bison? I do occasionally. So I actually um, went out of competing and so like super restrictive and intense competing into a very intense, uh, I guess you would call it like vegan lifestyle too because I'm like an extreme personality so i went from the extreme bodybuilding to the extreme vegan and then now i'm just making my way and finding the balance between there um so yes i do eat bison but it's but it's more so plant-based more plant would you ever yeah. eat a cow um i personally like bison rather than like red meat yeah yeah have like you ever seen a cow play in like a yeah like i grew up like oh, in like that farm town so it's that like seeing them me. as like pets yeah you don't what do you think about it. chicken or turkey um, I'm just like not a really huge like chicken or turkey. Do you not like the way they look or as like animals or like yeah, eating it? Animals. Oh, I, I mean they... like they're kind of cute. Like you on think the they're farm. cute? Yeah. You know how long their necks are? That's a long neck, <laughs> and they got a lot of gobble in there. <laughs> totally. Gobble gobble. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you think about duck as a protein source? Um, I yeah, like, I just personally don't eat it. So it's just like why? Quality because food. they quack all the time. Is it, when you're eating a duck, you're like quack. You're no. like you're like no, I don't <laughs> no. want any. any okay. No. I feel you. Mm-hmm. So like what proteins would you recommend for someone? Let's say they don't like all the protein sources. Like do you say fish is like a better quality protein source? Yeah. What's easily digestible? What's something yeah. that we can do to reduce the stress in our minds and the, and the energy that we're putting out? Totally. Yeah. So I love salmon because it's like high healthy fats um, and introducing a lot of like, like, I think people are so focused on like protein sources rather than just looking at food as, Food too, it's because like macros and all yeah, that and it's like don't look at just for macros, look for micros as well too. And it's like plants have protein in it, but really, if you want to look at it as like the amino acid, because that's what protein is, it's their amino acids. Um, so like nuts and seeds and like spinach, kale, that all has like protein in it. So just introducing like those foods into your diet too, or right, it's amazing protein. Right, source. but just make sure you are getting like your protein. Like, don't just say, don't yeah. just like, don't o- only eat kale. And yeah, I'm not saying that. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, definitely get your protein. Yeah, in. or like quinoa, lentils, beans. Like those are great protein sources right, for right. plant based as right, well. Right, plant based. Yeah, and then you know, for me, I'm always about wild game meats. Yeah. So like, or uh, do I even need to say wild game? I think it's just game meats. It's like um, foods that are just like instead of regular chicken, I like Cornish hen. Mm-hmm. It's a cleaner chicken. Yeah. You know, like I think chickens are actually very dirty. Totally. They dirty, are. dirty. And meat. pork. Like I am, if oh, there's no. one food I would say, like say, a, don't Never, eat is like yeah. pork. Yeah. Just look how pigs. Plus I really yeah. like pigs. They're cute. I, they yeah. Like, do I that had an thing. ex-boyfriend got... that had like a pet pig. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my fuck. <laughs> like the little noses, they're so nice yeah. and circular. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just want to pet one. Yeah. So <laughs> actually you just said boyfriends really quick. I said ex-boyfriend, but okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um, ever been through tough relationships? Yes. Yeah. I haven't had the best experience in relationships. My like past two, um, experiences. Right. But you still love them. You still like give them good energy and, and, and everything that they, they're creating totally. in their lives. I think it's important to look at that person that you were in a relationship and remember the best in them because that's what they are. Like, that's why you were in a relationship with them to begin yeah. with because you saw the good in them not all the shitty aspects or like not the bad aspects that why you like broke up too so remembering that and not allowing like whatever happened to define them that's wow that that's actually amazing i've never thought of it like that yeah i never thought of a relationship as like hey you saw the good in that yeah first well that human was like a learning lesson for you on your journey too and it's just like relationships with people mm-hmm. it's like or, or sorry, relationships with the food, yeah. right? It's like you saw the good in what you were putting in your body at first. Totally. But then you're starting to eat all this bad food. And you started and, to rely on it and started to get either like addicted or, um, yeah, just. Wow. God, that, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So, Carly, if people are struggling right now with 
their mindset. They're yeah. struggling with food. What's just one step that you can give them just to begin? Just like, what's the yeah. first step? Like something that they can do quickly and implement. Reach out. Um, there's no need to suffer in silence. I think a lot of us have this mindset of that we can like heal ourselves and that it's just us in the world, but it's yeah. not. There's so many people going through some sort of struggle. And if you reach out and express that, that's your first step of owning your truth and getting that help. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reach out, ask for support. Yeah. Get out of your comfort zone. I, it's not comfortable to ask for support. It's, it's not. not. No, but we're humans and we need other humans. Yeah, it's true. We are literally a, a connected uh, species. We're, we're yeah. literally connected from on hip so to hip. Many, yeah, in so levels. many different levels. Yeah. So, okay, Carly, I have one last question for you before we end up closing. Okay. If you were at a dinner table yes. and you were inviting everyone over to eat and you could choose three to four people mm. Mm -hmm. to eat with anybody okay except for except for your like your close family okay who would they be oh good question um dang will smith no actually oh, um come on wait, what's wait, wait. his son's name though oh willie smith no that's his daughter uh, is it really yeah well yeah i knew that yeah <laughs> Uh, what Alex is, Smith. No. Mm, that's the Kansas but City whatever, uh, quarterback. But whatever, Will Smith. Oh, wait, Smith, no, he got traded. Oh, my gosh. Jaden Smith. You that's, want Jaden Smith there? Yeah. Why? His mind and, like, his awareness is, like, next level. Really? Mm -hmm. I need to take the note. I need to, I need yeah. him on this podcast. You should. Jaden Smith. Oh, my God. Does he have a big following? Is, is it kind of hard to get in contact I think with probably. him? I mean. Gosh, damn it. Like, <laughs> see, this is the tough Maybe. part. Like, you try yeah. to reach out to these guys and it's like, eh. Yeah, I would say him. Um... I would say, do they have to be living? No, go ahead. Okay. You're going to have dead people at <laughs> the table. <laughs> they won't really be able to eat um, very well. I would say like my three great grandma. So like getting past generation because I think we all hold generation within us, like more like DNA as well too. That's so amazing. Mm -hmm. So just like learning about like your genetic makeup too and just like your family. I think that's really important. Um you said three? Yeah. Okay. Um, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah. I mean, maybe. The baller. Yeah. Donald Trump. I have Trump so many. Bong. Come on, give me one. Give me two more. Give me two more. Throw some juice in this. Mm. Come on. Let's I get more. Come on, let's get more. Come on. Um, I like Janet Smith. I'm actually going to. I would say a monk. A monk? Mm-hmm. Okay, I, you know, I fuck with that. I yeah. fuck it. Did you know that I, I know a monk? Really? Oh, 100%. You should get that. My boy, the my boy is a monk. Well, he actually studied with monks for years. Yeah, in like a monastery. Yeah, in yeah. China. Like mm -hmm. insane. And this man yeah. is incredible. Totally. Yeah, because you're tapped He's a Shaolin. The, He's a Shaolin. Yeah, you're not in society and you're just exploring your mind, your inner mind. Okay, I like you. You're really cool. <laughs> I can't wait for our World of Warcraft day. This yeah. is incredible. And we're going to go for a hike after. Yeah. And we're going to not eat red meat together. This nope. is going to be great. <laughs> so, so, all right, number four. Give, give me a fourth because I'm, now I'm wow. curious. You okay. might even go up to 100. Whoa. Um, let's see. I don't know. Would you want an animal at your table? Yeah. <laughs> like that, an animal that talked? I mean, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Come on, give me, give me one more. Give me one more. A person. Anyone. Yeah. Give us something. I already have my three. That'd you don't want to put a fourth there? You don't have a fourth Do table? you want to come to the dinner, Brenda? Oh, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it right there. Uh, I am at her dinner table. No, I'm usually the butler. I tell okay. everybody that. Yeah, I'm the yeah. butler. I'm the one that brings out all the platters and mm -hmm. stuff. I, I give you your, your drink. Fill it up. Yeah. Would you have wine at your table? I'm not really a big drinker. I don't know if it's just because, like, I just turned 21 in um, October. I just like don't you're really 21 care. yeah oh shit <laughs> you're young you're young yeah. they, now people listen when you say your age like no, no shit when you say your age yeah literally so many things shift do they oh. so many things shift when Back you just said your good. age i guarantee you thousands of people literally just shifted their mindset of, yeah. of where your knowledge comes from and your experiences mm -hmm. mine didn't because i know like i just know that you've been through a lot and you yeah. really study this stuff but that's how people's minds work. True. And when you tell someone 
if I tell someone my age, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they immediately are like, oh, well, maybe I can't invest in your company. Uh, well, maybe you don't have that experience in that realm. Totally. Or, oh, maybe you don't, you haven't been in this long enough. But here's the thing with experience, there's different types of depth with experience. Yeah. There is, I could be doing something for a month straight and I could work on it every single day and experience so many different things that some people haven't experienced for five years. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if I say my age, you're like, whoa, wait a second. Um, mm. I don't think really age, like it doesn't matter in the context of like alcohol. Totally it does, but not really because it's like, it's just a number too. And then like you said, it's experience and like the wisdom that you possess as well too. And, and here's the interesting part is it does in some respects hold some weight, you know, like if you're a 16 year old and you, you own a business, you know, like a, an investor isn't going to go in there. Like, I, I don't know if I would invest in 116 year olds mm -hmm. for their business. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like there's certain aspects. Mm -hmm. And I think it's in the quality of that approach. It's, it's asking the right questions and learning more about the person mm -hmm. to know that, hey, oh, yeah, this does come from actual experiences. This, yeah. this does come from a, a multitude of, of knowledge. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'm, so, I'm so happy that you shared all this stuff. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you told me you're 21. Mm -hmm. mm. You think I'm judging you, but I'm not. I'm really <laughs> like, not. No, I swear I'm not. Okay. I swear I'm not. No, but seriously, like for, yeah, I was about to say for your age, you're really smart. <laughs> that's age. bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah. Really. It's like, that's society it is. speaking in my fucking ear. Like, yeah. hey, say that. No, really? Like you're so knowledgeable and I appreciate yeah. you for coming on here. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you sharing about some really in-depth things, some vulnerable things that you might not have outside of this. So yeah. like, I appreciate that. And where can people find you? Uh, mostly on Instagram right now. So like I said, it is at K-A-R-L-E-E-E-J. Um, and then my website as well too, which is under construction right now. Okay. Um, but everything's in your bio. Like, totally. Yeah, yeah, it'll, so, it'll Instagram. So, so just check her out on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and, and always remember that we're bringing on new guests every every week and every week, every two weeks, whatever it is. And they always have a story. They have something to bring to the table, the dinner table, I call it. We're all sitting at a massive dinner table and we all totally. get to learn from each and uh, oh, I can't even speak each from, from one another. Is that right? Does that sound right? Is that yeah, good grammar? It is. Yeah. I go to grammar. I, I tell everybody. I like, I, yeah. I go to grammar school. It doesn't even make any sense, but it's great. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's vernacular right there. Mm -hmm. Like that word? I do. Yeah. Just vernacular. learned it today. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the Create You Experience. Carly, again, thank you so much for, for coming for on here. Me. Definitely want to sit down with you more. Mm -hmm talk over World of Warcraft and how we can build our characters on there. Totally. Super excited. Me too. You have no clue about the level system, but it goes pretty high. So we yeah. have a lot of work to do. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in for yet another episode of the Create You Experience. Remember, we are on audio platforms and also on YouTube. And before the actual podcast, we jump into an actual experience. So don't forget to tag your friends, tell your friends about this, and let's just keep on working through life the way we should. Mm -hmm. Let's attack the day like, hey, we don't even know what's going to come from it, but yeah. something good's going to come from it. Yeah. Just know that life is in your favor and that you can always create you even when you feel like you can't. That's when you actually create yourself. Mm -hmm. So keep pushing forward. Keep on tuning in to all of these podcasts. I'm Brendan. This is Carly, and I'll see you next time. Peace. My right. I fell down, got up. I'm unbreakable. Anything in my way, I'm a breakthrough. Lights, camera, action, take two. Can't worry about what they do. You got to create you.